Hello everybody, welcome back to Altcoin Buzz Trading. Bitcoin sold off pretty hard yesterday towards the end of the day. And not what you wanted to see, not what I wanted to see, but it's what happened. So what does that leave us with? Well, it leaves us with a market that's just been chopping and chopping and chopping and chopping. And we're not done with the chop yet. Chop doesn't necessarily mean we're going to go straight down. Chop can, you can come back from chop and go straight up. That's not a huge problem but it does require some work. So we're waiting for that work to happen. We're waiting for things to finally settle out. We thought they were doing that, giving us a little chance over here with some decent volume, and then we get that. So we're kind of back to waiting. We're kind of back to, we're kind of back to waiting is really what's going on here. So the market rolling over pretty much overall, there's a couple of good spots in the market, not too many. Chopping in lows is okay. It's just going to take a while to get out of it. So I don't know. There's not much to do here, to be quite honest with you. We're not really selling off in mass. You're not getting a huge through candle. We still have this base intact. We're just back inside of it. That's really all there is to it. We could try to bounce back. There's no major issue with doing that. Um, but your buy points right now are, your valid ones are way up here uh, at the 72 still, which these are still valid buy points. These should be a bigger font. These should be smaller fonts as they're old. Maybe that's something I could do. I never thought about that. but. These are older alerts. This one now is an older alert, although it still could be valid trying to come back through this 61861, but we're well underneath of it now. And uh, it's really not really not on the, on the forefront of your mind, I don't think. That is kind of where we sold off from. Could turn into a pivot point. We'll just have to wait and see. All right, let's take a look at Solana, which definitely held up better than a lot of other tokens. Our cup and handle is still intact. No major flaw here. We do have okay looking bottom signatures we kind of have a, a breakout point here where we where we moved up you don't know what's a breakout point in in the moment but in hindsight we know it is so there's a little bit of support here you find the support here not a ton of volume down there volume aggregation tool tells a story and the buyers are slowly slipping away so ideally we can form some type of a structure here and try to bounce back if you want to buy this bottom very tricky um I don't think it's a very good bottom to buy, to be honest with you, not the way that it's formed. We have been able to undercut this one, uh, this high volume candle here. We have come back, but I don't, it just doesn't look great. Uh, I do have an RSI trend line break here. If this breaks, that could be an entry point. If you want to do that, that would be a very aggressive trade. And then as long as we don't make a new low, this is still a good handle. So Solana's still in the hunt. Most coins aren't. Most coins that were looking okay have rolled over substantially, and uh, that is that. But Solana still looks okay. There's not a lot that do, though. All right. On to the top coins of the day, I picked the ones that were up the most to see what was kind of holding up. And Immutable X, IMX here with not a bad sell-off yesterday. We ended up with a high-volume stalling candle right there to the downside, which so far cemented our low. And then we get... Um, some movement back up. Volume isn't tremendous. The VA tool tells that story, but the buyers are loosely in control. Not actionable in my opinion. But all in all, the story is not too bad. You could look for Immutable X to maybe get a little bit more solid if you want to put this on a watch list. Hasn't been on, on my watch list. We have looked at it once or twice, hence the trend lines. But eh, we're okay. We're not too bad. You could argue this could turn into a head and shoulders pattern if you give this high volume candle up as a bottoming wick that wouldn't be too bad we'll have to wait and see how it plays out but right now there's nothing to do with it and then aptos apt this one also uh bouncing back pretty good we did get that high volume candle that's a stalling candle in hindsight you know even in, even in real time you don't get a lot of action above the prior high lots of volume that is a stalling candle you come back down didn't really sell off in, in bad volume though and the va tool looks pretty good Although there's still really no trade here for Aptos. So kind of have to wait and see. There's a pivot point here. Right there. 775. Get above that. Maybe you have a shot. There's just not a lot of good trades today after yesterday's sell-off. Um, so it's interesting, interesting to see two new tokens that we usually don't talk about on here. Which is good. But I don't think there's much to do with them. So... All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's all I got for you here on the best five minutes of your day in altcoin buzz trading. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you tomorrow.